Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the rhetorical question varied parentheses. Okay, so let me explain with this example. So this is a S, uh, I mean input uh, string. And I'll show you three ways to solve this question. And the first solution is using hash map and uh, stack. So we know that we have three types of open parentheses and three types of closed parentheses, right? So that's why we can create uh, like a, a combination with hash map. Like a key is a closed parentheses and the value is uh, like a open parentheses. And let's iterate through one by one. And first of all, um, we find the open parentheses. So check if we have this open parentheses in values. And uh, yes, we have, right? So in the case, uh, we add this open parentheses to stack. And then move next. So next parentheses is a closed parentheses, right? So in that case, um, so we don't have closed parentheses in values, right? And next, we check the keys. And uh, yes, we have uh, closed parentheses. So in that case, um, we just pop this open parentheses and then move next. And then uh, we find the open parentheses. And first of all, check values. And yes, we have this open parentheses. In that case, uh, we do the same thing, add uh, this parent open parentheses to stack. And then next, um, again, we have uh, open parentheses and uh, check all values. And uh, yes, we have, right? In that case, add uh, open parentheses to stack. And then next, um, we find the closed parentheses. And of course, uh, there's no closed parentheses in values, but we have keys, right? And then we have uh, this closed parentheses in key. So in the case, um, we just pop um, the latest uh, open parentheses, I mean this. And then, so this open parentheses and this close parentheses are like a combination, right? So that's fine, just pop. And then move next. So we find the uh, close parentheses. And then, so of course, there is no uh, close parentheses in values, but uh, there is a close parentheses in keys. And uh, yes, we have, right? So in that case, just pop the latest open parentheses from stack. So um, this open parentheses and this close parentheses are a combination, right? So in that case, uh, just pop um, open parentheses from stack. And then we finish iteration. And then at last, um, check this stack is empty or not. And if empty, we should return true. If not, we should return false. OK, so let me explain a false case quickly with this example. And first of all, we find the open parentheses, and we have this open parentheses in values, right? So that's why add to stack. And then move next, and we have this open parentheses in values, so that's why add open parentheses to stack. And then move next, we find the close parentheses. So when we find the keys, we have close parentheses here. So in that case, um, we pop our open parentheses uh, from stack, so this one. But uh, um, current close parentheses needs this open parentheses, right? But the uh, latest open parentheses in stack is this one. So this open parentheses and uh, this close parentheses are not valid combination, right? So we need uh, actually this open parentheses. So that's why in this case we should return false immediately because uh, um, these uh, combinations are not valid. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's write the code. OK, so let's write the code. First of all, create a stack, and then create a mapping with hash map. And uh, like um, close parentheses and open parentheses. And then another close parentheses and uh, open parentheses. And uh, another um, close parentheses and uh, open parentheses like this. And then let's iterate through one by one for um, character in S. And uh, if character in mapping dot values, so in that case, we should add current character to stack. So stack and we use append. And then current character else if um, character in mapping dot keys and then if 
in that case, if not stack or map mapping, and uh, he is a current character, is not equal um, stack dot pop. So in that case, um, we should return false immediately. And then after that, just return uh, not stack. So at last, uh, if empty, uh, stack is empty, uh, we should return true. If not, we should return false. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n, where n is a length of input string. And the space complexity is also order of n. In the worst case, we put all characters to uh, stack. So imagine if we have um, open parentheses only. So in that case, uh, we append all open parentheses to stack, and then nothing happened. So in the end, this stack has um, length of input uh, string, right? So that's why O n. Yeah, so let me explain the second solution. So we use only uh, stack. OK, so let me explain with this example. In solution two, um, we use only stack. And uh, every time we find a new parentheses, we just add it to stack. So let's begin. And uh, first of all, we find this open parentheses. So just add open parentheses to stack. And then move next. We find a close parentheses. And uh, now stack has some parentheses, right? So in that case, uh, check latest parentheses in stack is a good combination with uh, this current parentheses. And then now uh, this close parentheses needs this open parentheses, right? So they are good combination. So in that case, just pop latest or uh, parentheses from stack and then move next. And now uh, we find an uh, open parentheses and the stack is now empty. So just add open parentheses and then move next. And then we find uh, another open parentheses and then stack has some open parentheses. So that's why I uh, check this open parentheses is a good combination with this open parentheses. Um, it's false, right? In that case, just add this open parentheses to stack. We don't pop this open parentheses. And then move next. We find a close um, parentheses and a check latest parentheses in stack, this one. And uh, this close parentheses needs this open parentheses, right? So they are good combination. So in that case, we just um, pop um, this open parentheses from stack and then we don't add this close parentheses and then move next and then we find a close parentheses and then check latest parentheses in stack and then so they are good combination, right? So in that case, uh, we just pop our latest parentheses in stack and then we don't add this close parentheses. Now we finish iteration and all we have to do is just um, if a stack is empty, we should return true. If not, we should return false. Okay, so let me explain false case with this example. And uh, first of all, we find the uh, open parentheses and the stack is empty. So just add its open parentheses. And then move next, we find the open parentheses again. And uh, we have some parentheses in stack. So check if this parentheses and this parentheses are good combination. Uh, it's false, right? In that case, just add this open parentheses to stack. And then move next. And we find a close parentheses. And we have parentheses in stack. And uh, check latest parentheses and the current parentheses are good combination. So it's false, right? So just add uh, this parentheses to stack. And then move next. We, find, we found a close parentheses and uh, check latest parentheses in stack. And uh, they are not good combination, right? So in that case, add this close parentheses to stack. And then we finish iteration. So in the end, stack has four parentheses. In that case, we should return false. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. OK, so let's write the code. First of all, create a stack. And then let's iterate through one by one. So we use a index number. So for i in range and a length of s. And if stack has uh, some parentheses and uh, check last um, latest 
parentheses in stack. So st and minus one. And uh, if uh, let's say self is there and passing the uh, last and uh, current parentheses. And uh, if they are good combination, um, so in the case we pop the latest parentheses in stack. And then uh, we don't add current parentheses, so that's why continue. If um, not the case, I mean stack is empty, or so this if statement is false. So in that case, um, we just add current parentheses to stack. So st dot with append and s and i. And then in the end, return um, not st stack. And then let's create a is pair. So not def and is pair and self and the last and the current. If last equal and uh, this open parentheses and uh, current equal this close parentheses or so let me copy this open is um, like this and the close is like this or open is like this and the close is like this so in that case we should return true if not return false yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n, where n is a length of input array. And the space complexity is also order of n. In the worst case, we put all parentheses into stack. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Please support me with your actions, such as comment and hitting the like button. I'll see you in the next question.